Hey guys, this is Mindy back with another cup of love, cup of wisdom. Let's get in here, do an energy check, see what's going on. Remember, this can be past, present, or future energy. Remember to take what resonates. Leave it doesn't. Flip the signs and rules as needed. Keep in mind this is a collective read, not a personal reading. If you would like a personal reading, the details are in my description box for my channel. You can also email me aceofcups0 at yahoo.com. So, <clears throat> we have the two of cups in the reverse. Self-love, disharmony, distrust, breakups, imbalance, tension, and a broken communication. Seven of Swords in the reverse. Coming clean, rethinking approach, deception, self-deceit, keeping secrets. Mm, mm, mm. So there's some conflict, disharmony, possibly a breakup here. Someone doesn't trust someone because someone's being deceptive and they're keeping secrets. And then we have the Five of Pentacles in the reverse. Recovery from financial loss, spiritual poverty, charity, and improvement. Mm, 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 mm. So someone's suffering. Someone's going to be suffering some loss here. They could be lacking spiritually. Depending on charity to recover from financial loss here. So someone's going to take a financial hit with this. Then we have the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. Lost opportunity, missed chance, bad investment, lack of planning and foresight. Someone made a bad investment when it came to a relationship here. And they're going to take a financial loss when this relationship ends. So this could be the result of a divorce. Or someone that someone has kids with. We have journey in the reverse. Poverty. Thoughts in the reverse. Concern in the reverse. Marriage and gift in the reverse. Ooh. So someone, someone's concerned and uh, they were in their thoughts about somebody possibly taking a journey to give someone a gift or to take a gift, take something that didn't belong to them. Someone that's married is in poverty or they're going to be in poverty. So this is definitely going to result in a divorce or separation <clears throat> or someone's in poverty because of a marriage. I feel like this is someone's going to definitely be taking a financial hit with a divorce. Could be a spiritual divorce or could be an actual divorce. Because spiritual loss came up too. So could be a bad spiritual contract. Someone could have made a bad spiritual contract with a karmic. <clears throat> They invested in the wrong person. And they're going to suffer financially for this. Someone may have to depend on the charity of others for a while. As they recover from this financial loss. These almost came out sideways. So I'm going to take them sideways. We have architect and careerist. Someone is cunning devising. Thinking, scheming, a design, someone's planning, plotting, trying to construct something. So someone is being deceptive. They've been planning something. They could even be trying to figure out how to not end up in poverty with this divorce or separation. <clears throat> or it could be the person who's being deceptive, who's like hiding money or trying to figure out. Um, that's kind of what I was getting, what I was trying to say just a second ago. Um, this person who is being deceptive in the relationship could be being deceptive by putting money back, hiding money, um, or this could be someone plotting and scheming on how to get out of this situation intact or without losing as much money as possible. Melting, shaping, tempering. So someone's trying to fine-tune some details here to a plan that they are working on. Someone's working on it. Trying to figure something out. Trying to put a plan into action and fine-tuning the details. Yes, luck is on your side. So luck is on someone's side here in this situation.
<clears throat> so someone's going to think of a plan that's actually going to benefit them or help them. Maybe after they've already taken a hit or financial hit, um, something that they're plotting, planning, or thinking up could help them be recovering from this or it's going to help them recover. So this could be a good idea that someone is coming up with. Oh, stormy. Message. Courage and nature spirits in the reverse. So someone is not connected to nature spirits. Someone's lacking courage. Maybe somebody tried to reach out to nature spirits. But somebody is going to get a message um, that they're not moving on to calmer waters here because someone knows how to transmute energy on the new moon. Some sort of energy is going to be transmuted because someone did not have the attitude of gratitude. Someone was ungrateful. So somebody could have been doing some actual spell work here, trying to work with some nature spirits. Uh, but the, it was rejected. Strong no. That's a hard no. That's a hell no. So these nature spirits said hell no. We're going to, yeah. This could also be someone who in the upright made some sort of um, offering to a nature spirit with gratitude. And that could be what's going to help transmute this energy on the new moon. With this new moon energy. Scam alert. If it sounds too good to be true, it's probably a scam. So something is a scam. <clears throat> Could be this relationship or someone offering some sort of help in a financial situation. Be careful of somebody trying to scam because there's deception. Someone is not in alignment. Their chakras are unbalanced. Someone is not tuned in to the higher dimensions. Okay, someone's low vibrational. And they're scamming. So someone needs to watch their P's and their Q's when it comes to being deceived. Anything about money, finances, or the financial loss, or the luck. What do we need to know about the money? Okay. There was a lot that just came out here. So we have mishaps. There may be some minor setbacks. Review your work because someone needed to watch out. Something that had to do with marketing. Somebody was expecting to get some sort of feast, but they lacked the skill. Some sort of communication, something that was written. Someone does not have a, a talent for content creation. So someone... Could have been trying to be an influencer to bring in income. So someone could be trying to scam someone here. <clears throat> claiming they have a connection to nature spirits or something. But they lack the skill. They lack ability. Um, they're not going to be feasting. Um, someone was being deceptive. when it. This is like false advertising. This is giving me a false advertising. And then we have the nature here again. It's time to enjoy nature around you. If you feel anxious about a situation in your life or career, take a walk to clear your head and be healed. And then we have a mother in the reverse and choices. So there's a, or not mother, mentor. Maybe that is significant. Maybe someone is a, a mother figure like an empress in the reverse energy. Someone willing to share experiences in their field that will help motivate you to do better. Your working and teaching inspires others. So someone's not inspiring. Someone is not a mentor. Someone's not a good teacher. This is someone who is teaching false shit, fake shit. Choices. There are a lot of opportunities waiting for you. Don't doubt yourself and trust your instinct in choosing the best possible decision. So someone is suffering from a mishap because they took the wrong path here. Someone needs to get grounded, make a right choice, follow, the, follow your instincts. And there are opportunities, but someone took a gamble on the wrong thing here. I want to check out my instinct cards. So someone could have been trying to make money like as a content creator or something, but they're a fake or a fraud. They're lacking skills. Uh, someone is just 
fake, 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 fake. But we have someone here who is connected to the spirit guide. So this could be someone who's trying to copy you, imitate you. This could be a copycat or it could be like your ex, someone that you separated from or someone that is getting a divorce from. Or if you're a divine feminine, like in the upright, um, and this was an empress in the reverse who's trying to copy you or imitate you, your divine masculine could be um, separating from this person or divorcing this person because they took a gamble, made a bad investment with a karmic, a bad person, the wrong person. You have an innate connection with your spirit guides, which help you help your soul attain its greatest potential on earth. So someone here does have guidance here they are connected to their spirit guides but someone else doesn't and i feel like it could be a feminine energy animal a strong spirit animal characterized as a teacher or messenger that comes in the form of an animal and has a personal relationship to you it could even be your friendly neighborhood kitty cat whatever the case here um or it could be butterflies dragonflies whatever you see um it could be cardinals blue jays crows ravens whatever the case could even be bats. Um, but there's something here, some sort of sign that your spirit guides are um, using. And they're, they're using some sort of animal to send you messages, give you clues or cues. It could even be feathers from a bird that you find to let you know you're on the right track. But that is for the person who is in the upright, not the karmic that somebody is separating from. So there's definitely a divorce or separation here and a financial hit. Unlock your heart. Embrace vulnerability. Let love guide your journey to self-discovery. And then right track. Keep going in the right direction. Just keep moving forward. So even if you face some sort of setbacks, keep going. You're on the right track. But that's for those who are in the upright. Not everybody is. <clears throat> so then we have hurtful events. As you endure this period, learn not to dwell on the past. So I won't anchor you down. So be careful. Don't let the past anchor you down. Don't let past failures stop you from moving forward. Eclipse of Concealment. Navigate through the eclipse of concealment, understanding the silical nature of hidden phases and awaiting revelation. So there's more to be revealed. There are things that could be being kept hidden. There are things being concealed. As you navigate what is going on, the path you're taking, there's a reason for that. I can't tell you what that reason is because it is intentionally being concealed. And if I'm not supposed to know it, and it's clearly saying you're not supposed to know it. There's no point in asking, well, what's being hidden? Because you're not supposed to know right now. But you need to let go of the past and stop letting it weigh you down. You need to release some sort of pain, a hurtful event that happened. So that it's not weighing you down. Because something is being hidden surrounding this hurtful event. They'll claim I did it first knowing damn well that they got inspired by you. So there's your copycat right there. They are recruiting haters. So this is someone who's jealous of you. This could be someone on social media, a platform. Um, because we had the content creator thing in the reverse here with the copycat energy. Blocked heart chakra. This person could be trying to block your heart chakra. Um, or this person could have a blocked heart chakra. With issues, intentions, affection, balance, beauty, compassion, empathy, healing, love, mindfulness, nurture, and relationships. So this person could be trying to block your heart chakra. Or they have a blocked heart chakra. I feel like they do because they're a copycat and they're very cold and they're recruiting haters. So I feel like they have a blocked heart chakra. Especially if they're trying to take credit from your work. We have energy vampire and dark entities are using these people to work against you. This person is excessively demanding your attention and emotional support. So this person um, is like someone who possibly gets like in your you know, comments, emails, DM, something like that. 
constantly wanting your attention, like, hey, pay attention to me, pay attention to me, answer my questions, do this, do that. Um, first of all, they're trying to copy you, imitate you, um, and they're looking for free information, free shit. They don't, this is the kind of person who doesn't want to do the shadow work themselves. That's why they're a karmic. Um, they're not trying to heal themselves because if they did, they would understand they have to do the work themselves. Um, now this person is trying to drain you in some way, shape, or form. And they could be making direct contact with you. They could be using fake accounts. Um, or it could just be someone that you don't know um, personally, okay? Um, this could be someone apart from um, who the masculine is attached to. You may not even know this copycat, okay? But there's a lot going on here. Whether this is um, the masculine uh, that's separating from this copycat, and it doesn't have to be a masculine, you know, it can be whatever. Um, but a divorce is happening here, a separation here. And someone is copying someone else trying to steal their work. And that could be two separate issues or it could be all connected to the same person. So someone was suffering from low self-esteem. They're envious and they feel inferior. This is stemming from deep-rooted childhood wounds that this person suffers from. So this is like that pick-me energy, like pay attention to me. My mommy didn't love me enough. My daddy didn't love me enough. I need attention to feel successful in life. And I'm going to jump to the tarot cards on this. I want some more information. So someone's definitely not admirable, okay? Someone's not compassionate. They're not nice. They're not a good person. Meeting up, recruiting haters, the three of pentacles, talking shit. So someone was talking shit about what someone else does, but they're trying to do the same thing because something is moving forward here with the star and the chariot. So there's someone here who does have a divine connection, the star power, and something is moving forward for them. But all is not being revealed at this time because something is still being concealed. Yeah, so, okay, so when I split, kind of split the deck just a second ago, this is the copycat that someone is separating from because I had High Priestess in the reverse and then the Devil card. So there's a contract here. There's a deal. Um, the Dark Practitioner is the person that the Divine Masculine or your Divine Counterpart is married to. And someone is trying to carry, the, carry those heavy burdens and move forward here regarding this unsuccessful relationship, this emperor and empress. So this is your divine counterpart. And then we have the king of cups. So there was an unsuc unsuccessful relationship here with a king of cups with the masculine energy. So that masculine, the king of cups, is married to a karmic. And this is a very emotional situation. So there's definitely a situation going on. Because the Emperor wants to move forward. And spiritually, they're being drawn. The Emperor and the Empress are being drawn to each other spiritually, energetically. Uh, I, I just heard I can't fight this feeling anymore by Ario Speedwagon. Maybe you already know this person. Yeah, so a marriage, something had to be stopped with the Queen of Cups. So something had to end, something needed to be stopped with this Queen of Cups. So we had, it's definitely a married couple here. And someone got left out in the cold. So this masculine needs to leave this Queen of Cups out in the cold here. Or they did get left out in the cold. And they want to grow something, plant something here with their divine counterpart or they're going to. And I'm not saying they're leaving their wife for you. That's not what I said. Don't twist my words. Don't say shit that I didn't say. Because too many people do that shit. That's not what I'm saying. This person obviously was already having issues. And you may not even know how this masculine feels about you. But you're being drawn to each other. Even if you haven't even talked about it. Okay, so there was a lying ass energy, um, cold hearted, the queen of swords, someone's being cold hearted and that's why they got left out in the cold, that hermit energy. Okay, 
So someone lied to keep this masculine isolated and away from other people, especially you if you already know this person. But what they ended up doing is they ended up putting themselves out in the cold and ending up alone in hermit mode. So this is like their own shit backfiring on them. And here we go again with that comp confirmation with the King and Queen of Cups here. There's not going to be a new start, a new beginning here. Because someone wants to plant seeds and have the new beginning, the Ten of Pentacles, with their divine counterpart. That's why the Emperor and Empress here are being drawn to each other. And there's options here. And someone is getting a message or receiving the message or communication that somebody has options. And they're very strong. But they may be juggling or multitasking. But they're going through it. But there was a financial imbalance here. But there is a group of people here that are coming together to do something. It could be people within the community. It could be a friends group. It could be family here. But someone was at a crossroads and someone's going to be in despair. So someone's going to be in despair about people coming together, a unification of some sort, about people working together. Whatever the case, how, whoever these group of people are, there's people talking, communicating, coming together. There's a meeting of the minds here. And this has somebody in despair. Because someone was faced with a decision with the two of swords. There was a crossroads here and they made a bad decision. I know it's not the wheel of fortune, but they made a bad decision here that caused a financial imbalance. Like there was a stalemate. Someone was going to take a financial loss and they were trying to avoid this. So, um, you know, either it's the king of cups or the queen of cups. One of them was afraid of taking this financial hit, but someone's going to take that hit anyway. But someone does have the strength and courage to get through this, okay? So they could be in despair because they're going to take a loss, okay? And there could be a group of people here that's going to help be charitable to this person to help get them through it. And it could be their family, friends, whatever. But someone here is fighting a lot of conflict because someone was not held in high honor and they were trying to keep them bound, trapped, and stuck. This Queen of Cups. Confirmation, confirmation, confirmation. I love my cards. I love my cards. <laughs> and someone wants to come towards somebody with an offer. A king of wands. So this person could be in a leadership position. Okay. It's that masculine who's innocent. Um, they they want to come towards somebody with a pure heart with good intentions. And they're gonna get their financial security back. They're gonna they're gonna get their money back just by making a good decision. Um, but there was some sort of communication here, information um, with the hierophant in the reverse. So that is someone receiving the message, possibly from someone in um, a position of authority here. Um, it could be the Queen of Cups that was trying to use um, someone in a position of authority to keep someone trapped and stuck. This could be someone who is threatening someone with like law enforcement or with like a court situation, whatever the case here. Um, but there's... Uh, Someone who wants to go towards their divine counterpart, but they want to come to them with um, compassionate, with understanding, and with an innocent heart. So they're not leaving their spouse for you. They want to be free and clear before they come towards you because they're not the king of wands in the reverse. They're the king of wands in the upright. And this person wants to come to you with a good offer, um, with, with, a clean, with clean intentions, pure intentions. But they're going to take a financial hit. And so they may be a little humble when they come to you as well with the Page of Pentacles. Is, um, you know, But they're going to go from the Page of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles. So with when that divine union happens, the finances are going to heal as well. Yeah. There was a lack of rest, a sorrowful period, sorrowful period here, a bad time, time of stress, conflict, fighting, not being able to rest, possibly not being able to sleep. Because someone lacked courage, they lacked the strength because somebody was easily tempted by that low hanging fruit. Um, someone didn't want to heal. But someone's going to be tasting that sweet life here. That cheesecake, that nine of cups. So this, this king of cups is going to have to walk away from this queen of cups. Because ultimately she chose not to heal. She chose to stay a karmic. 
and there was just too much fighting here. But in this new cycle, they're going to be tasting that sweet life should they choose to, this, this is what could happen, okay? Tarot is based on choices, decisions. Should this King of Cups choose to leave this Queen of Cups, separate from them, get divorced, and go towards the Empress in this new cycle, they're going to be tasting that sweet life. They're going to financially recover things. It's a good union. It's a good match. So, I mean, that's what's going to happen. That's how it has to be. No. Y'all have choices to make. Oh, so because someone was tempted, you know, someone, someone may have been codependent. Okay. Seven of Pentacles. There was no abundance here. But someone was afraid. So maybe for a while they were restless, stressing out, anxious about separating from this person because they were afraid of losing what they worked hard for with that abundance here because they're not getting it. Something isn't growing. That's because they're going to take a financial hit and they, they know it. It's like they can feel it coming. They know they're going to take a financial loss if they separate from this person because they may have to pay them child support or something like that or like alimony, palimony, whatever the case here. Um, or, you know, in a divorce, a divorce, you just split up half your shit. So um, they just may end up losing half their stuff. But yeah, there's a loss here. There's a loss of financial security and that's what this person was afraid of. So that's why it's taking them a long time to do this, to make this decision. And they keep going back and forth. But it's like a stalemate. It's like they never get anywhere. The situation never gets better. It just continues to get worse and worse. And there was a lot of talking, a lot of gossip here. Um, possibly a meeting up of people. Um, but what was done in darkness? Something being brought to light the moon. Okay. So there's a secret here. Someone is keeping secrets and it could be that someone has secret feelings for someone in this new cycle, but they haven't said anything or they're not going to say anything until they're free and clear from this person. And they're going to take a financial hit, okay? The King of Pentacles in the reverse here, that doesn't necessarily mean this masculine is a gold digger. That also signifies a, a significant loss of wealth. So there is a, a loss of a good chunk of change here. Okay, and people are talking about it and they may have been talking with their friends or other people um, trying to rationalize whether or not this is a good idea, whether or not they should make this move, separate um, from this toxic situation. Yeah, there's not great news. I, it's not it's not good news. Someone is finding out that something is not good. They didn't get the information or the message they wanted to get. Um, and it could be them getting the communication or information. Yeah, you're going to take the financial hit, I, you know. Like it can't be stopped. But someone's going to be at peace. Someone's working on getting peace, obtaining peace. Or someone here is at peace, whether it's you or your divine counterpart. Someone is at peace. Or they're going to be. They just want peace. That's what they're striving for. And they're trying to gain the courage here, the strength. They're trying to get the courage up to make the right decision so they can be at peace. It's like they're trying to make peace with their decision. Like once and for all. So there's not going to be a reconciliation here. Reconciles in the reverse. This person's not serious. They're not formal. You know, they're not really conservative. There's a misunderstanding here. Ineffective communication. Like, there's just fighting. It's like someone's walking on eggshells constantly. It's like they can't communicate. They can't talk. 
Someone could be giving misinformation intentionally. Like just lying. Like someone's trying to say something is a misunderstanding. Like, no, that's not what happened. Or we can work this out. But there's no talking. I feel like both parties possibly have shut down at this point. And it's really hard to even talk to each other because I feel like when these two do talk, there's probably a lot of conflict and a lot of fighting here. <clears throat> so it's like they, I feel like they mostly avoid each other instead of even trying to talk at this point. And that's why there's a lack of re reconciliation. Just because somebody didn't want to heal. They didn't want to grow. They didn't want to change. I'm not saying the King of Cups is completely innocent in this situation, but what I'm saying is, is, is it's like beyond repair at this time inferno someone could have suffered a job loss everything is crumbling like this person someone's gonna lose a lot of money everything is crumbling around them there's chaos and it may not have happened yet or they're going through it or they're trying to get up out of this depending on where they are in this timeline they could have already divorced this person or separated from them um and they may not have lost their job yet or they're going to. Uh, but yeah, there's a situation here somewhere along the line where everything's just going to fall apart for someone. And there's going to be no contact. Someone's going to block someone. And they're going to be celibate. With the desire here, self-pleasure, intense feeling. So someone is is choosing to handle business themselves. So someone could be choosing to be single or celibate for a while. Take care of it themselves. Like not try to go like have sleep with this person. So there could be, um, you know, a, a separation time. You know, they may not be sleeping together anymore. Or there's going to come a time where they're not going to be separate, you know, where they're not going to be sleeping together, like, intimately. Because someone's going to choose to just take care of it themselves and keep this person blocked. Because someone is being secretive, sneaky, mysterious, hiding information. So someone could have had to, like, self-pleasure because they could have been getting rejected in the bedroom as well. And they're like, you know what, fuck this. Like, and I'm not saying it's right or wrong. I'm just reading the cards, okay? Um, everything is falling apart because someone was intentionally like withholding sex from someone here and they're being very secretive and they're hiding information. And I feel like it's the queen of cups here, the, the queen of cups energy, whether it's masculine or feminine. Um, that's, that's the energy I'm getting. Um, but this person is being sneaky, hiding shit. And so this masculine may have been having to take care of themselves for a while. And they may be getting tired of it. Or they may choose to do that because of this person being shady. Like something may not be adding up and they may be deciding to do that to protect themselves. So they don't catch something if there's some sort of suspicion of infidelity. Okay, yeah. I pretend like I don't care, but it's quite the opposite. My feelings for you are a little bit obsessive. I'm at a crossroads. Should I fight for this or move on? Relationships are a lot of work. Being single is easier. So you may already know this masculine. Okay. And um, they, they have a lot of strong feelings that they, they're keeping secret as well. And they don't know if they should just stay single instead of even considering another relationship after this one ends. Or if they should just stay, stay stuck in this shit. For, like, you know, like this person literally has a decision. Like they're at a stalemate. They're like, I'm, I'm damned if I do, damned if I don't. But that's where they have to make a decision. Should they choose to make a, you know, a good decision, it will work out for them. But not without a little pain, you know, like they're still going to take a financial hit until they come into partnership, come into union with their empress 
their divine counterpart. I didn't feel like I was on your level. You're a boss. I'm very insecure. So this person feels like you may not be on the same level as them. They're, they could feel very insecure if you have some sort of success. I hate that I hurt you. You didn't deserve this. Please don't blame yourself. It was my fault. So you could have been with this person in the past. Or they did something to hurt you. And it could have been because they chose to marry a karmic. Whether you were married to this person or you were dating them. Um, this person hurt you by choosing possibly someone else or, or a different situation altogether. It, it doesn't even matter. You know your situation, but they hurt you in some sort of way. Okay. Um, and they're insecure. So they chose the lesser of what they thought was two evils and they made a bad investment. And then they ended up marrying this person. So now they fucked themselves twice by not only giving up their empress, but by marrying a karmic. And now they put themselves in a really bad situation. It's like the cheap, it's cheaper to keep her kind of shit. Like, the, but this person's going to have to decide whether or not they're willing to care more about the money or being happy or being at peace. And it's not necessarily that they're materialistic. It's just that this person may have worked really hard to obtain what they have. And, you know, when she leave your ass, she's going to leave with half. That's, that's the energy I'm getting. I ain't saying she a gold digger. Yeah. Gold digger by Jamie Foxx would be significant. But, yeah. She's going to get a good chunk. Someone could be carless. No car. Repo. Car issues. Someone's afraid of their car getting repossessed or losing their car. Or someone's going to lose their car. So, either it's them or the karmic. So, if this masculine... Okay, so say... Say the feminine isn't working. Okay, maybe she decided she wanted to work from home, this copycat. So say you're a content creator, maybe she wanted to try that. Okay, um, so maybe um, if they divorce, maybe he's the one that paid for her car. Okay, and if she separates from him, maybe she's going to lose um, her financial stability. It doesn't just have to be him. It could be her that takes the hit in this or both of them. But someone's going to lose their car and they were stressed out and afraid of losing the car. So someone's trying to avoid losing a car. Yeah, that's really good reason to stay in a relationship. That was sarcasm. But yeah, someone someone's afraid of losing their car and I feel like that could be the Queen of Cups. Um, you know, but it could other it could be the other way around too. So take it how it resonates. It could be either one of them. Just depends on if these people are in their masculine or feminine energy and if you're in your masculine or feminine energy. Nothing from there. What's being hidden? Total drama. Action. So someone was afraid of taking action in this case because they know that there's drama. Like I said, it's cheaper to keep her. Like someone's afraid of losing stuff. Someone's afraid. Like they can't support their lifestyle if they're going to do everything by themselves. So it's like this, this masculine may be feeling like they're financially responsible or that they're going to be financially responsible for this feminine even after they separate. But someone was all about the drama, and that's why they're afraid to take some sort of action, even after a betrayal, deceit, backstabbing. But we have someone here who's very emotionally intelligent, and they're shattered, they're broken, they're fucked up, and they want to fight for what they love. But the police could be involved here. So someone's going to have to defend what's theirs or fight for what they love here because someone shattered and fucked up because the police could be getting involved in a situation or the police could have gotten called. Or someone could be making a police report. But the police are here in some way, shape, or form. So, <clears throat> so 
someone may be fucked up because they didn't expect to get the cops called on them or something. So there could have been like an argument, a domestic dispute, something like that. And the karmic could have called the police on them, something. And maybe they weren't expecting that. So that could be part of this betrayal and drama. So someone wasn't expecting to get betrayed. So there could have been an argument, like I said. And then this karmic called the police on them. And so, like, this really fucked them up because they're realizing that this person is shady as hell. And, you know, if they really loved them, they wouldn't have done something to hurt them. And that could be why someone loses a job as well. Um, if they have court issues or if they were arrested or charged with anything, that could be why someone lost a job and took a financial hit as well. So someone could be afraid that they're not going to be able to make the car payment or their car is going to be repossessed because they're not going to be able to make payments. You know, however it's resonating, there's a love message here. Someone was a jackass and they feel like time is running out because they turned their back on you in the past. Or they feel under pressure like time is running out for them to turn their back on this karmic, you know, and send you this message uh, because they were a jackass to you. They, they were a clown. Their own decision made them look like a clown. And then they married the karmic on top of it. So now they look double stupid. So, yeah, time is running out. This person is feeling the stress about sending a message, but they got to come to you right or they can't come at all. And they could have turned their back on you in the past. But they definitely know, know that time is running out. With Yeah, someone was a jackass because this person tried to copy you. They were in their feelings. So this person who was trying to copy you was trying to copy your side hustle or whatever. And this person wants to to romance you they need to turn their back on this person and come towards you and they feel like the clock is ticking and they're terrified as they should be as they fucking should be because for some of you i already know what you're going to say i'm not taking anyone back from the past i only want new i'm not doing yeah and so and <laughs> you're an adult you can do whatever the hell you want so but someone only wants you. I only want you. A mother or daughter here. And there's going to be police here. Yeah. Raid, drug bust, SWAT team, a false twin. So someone's false twin is going to call the police on someone because they're under the influence of drugs or alcohol. Or they're going to call the police and say that someone was drunk, out of control, or on drugs or something. Pay attention to your dreams, man. Someone, or no, health. Pay attention to your health. Someone needs to pay attention to, to their health. Because this person is... Um, a false twin could be the one who needs to pay attention to their health or they're going to do something to try to affect your health. It could even be stress related, but someone is going to call the cops while they're under the influence. They're going to do something stupid or they're going to call the cops and say that someone else is under the influence here and try to get them arrested. And this is the Empress, man. And not the Empress in the upright. They're saying they didn't try to set someone up, but yeah, someone didn't listen to their instincts. Their instincts were not on point. Someone needs to pay attention to their health because they caught a curable STD. Someone was throwing rocks, hiding hands because they were feeling lonely, left out, insecure. Someone wants to work with someone, contract, deal, or marriage. So someone wants to work it out when it comes to a contract, deal, or marriage, or someone wants to work with someone regarding a deal, contract, or marriage. That they caught a curable STD from. So this could be the shit that this dude's going through, man. You could be like, man, I don't know what to do. She gave me an STD. He gave me an STD. Whatever the case here. Um, called the cops on me. Tried to get me arrested and shit. But if I divorce them, then I'm going to lose some money. So it's like someone's trying to work it out. But... Man, someone really didn't think that there was going to be big consequences for their actions, but that's why there's communication issues and shit here because this person may be not taking responsibility for what they did to cause these problems. Like the karmic energy may not be trying to take responsibility for what they did here. Like they don't want to be held accountable. Someone may have legal fees, have to pay lawyer fees and shit now. We have Pisces, Libra, and Thursday, I, J, K, and L.
We have the next 24 to 48 hours. So the next 24 to 48 hours could be significant with the earth sign Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. And then we have the winter time. So there's something significant that's going to be happening within the next 48 hours from a Thursday. And then we have something that's going to be happening here with an earth sign in the winter time. So there's something here that's playing out because something was out of balance when it came to like a Pisces and an earth sign. Um, a Libra could be significant. So Pisces, Libra, but definitely an earth sign for sure. And someone's holding a grudge. So someone's going to be holding a grudge this winter. Maybe because that's when a final separation or something is going to happen. Someone could be a Sagittarius that's holding a grudge. Yeah, because they're not the best things since sliced bread. So their feelings got hurt. There was a heartbreaking situation with lick your wounds. Their feelings got hurt. Someone's holding a grudge because they're not the best thing. In the summertime, okay? So they could have been trying to copy, imitate, whatever. This is the karmic energy. They're not the greatest. They don't have these connections. They're not being spiritually led or guided. Um, someone in the upright, on the other hand, is this is a wild goose chase. Someone was easily tempted by that low-hanging fruit. And now someone's proceeding on the side of caution. Better safe than sorry. So that could be why someone's taking some time to fi figure out, like, man, do I just need to be single? Stay single? Like, am I meant to ever get married? Like, that kind of energy. Like, because they learned their lesson this time. Lesson learned. But something is still really hard. Something is really tough. An Aquarius. A Scorpio. Someone's not missing someone. Someone was trying to stop someone from missing someone against all odds. Someone was trying to make sure that someone stayed absent. But now someone's reading between the lines that something really was too good to be true when it came to this karmic who was not one in a million. Someone really did judge a book by its cover and they chose something because it was shiny, pretty. It, it looked right. Maybe it felt right, but it was a karmic. And that's why karma is a bitch in the fall. And once again, that 24 hours. So something significant is going to be happening in 24 hours, but something happened previously in the fall, whether it was this year, last year, or two years ago, whatever the case, but something in the past happened. They made a decision in the fall to pair up with this karmic and now all hell's breaking loose. But something significant is going to be happening in the next 24 hours from a Thursday. I'm telling you, something significant from Thursday, 24 to 48 hours. And then we have November. So November, um, that's a Sagittarius again. So someone could be a Sagittarius, Scorpio, Sag. Someone could be a Scorpio, Sagittarius, Cusper. So in November, in the morning time, someone's never looking back from this person who is not their happily ever after, okay? So that could be maybe when a divorce is final or when they file paperwork. Uh, but this person's never looking back. They're, they're leaving for good. G, person, place, or thing could be significant. R. F. F. Her good grief, Charlie Brown could be significant. Maybe someone's name is Charlie P. Griffin. A Griffin could be significant. A. Someone could be pansexual. C. I just heard no cap, so someone could be like from Gen Z or something. B. Oh, someone may use a CPAP machine as well. You. Another P. A. So G, R, two Fs, C, two Ps, two A's, B, and U. I hope this helps. Have a good day.